the Jin Long Technologies Solus Inverter YouTube channel. This video is about using the inverter buttons, LCD screen, and internal menus to get information about your system and to change the date and time on your home screen. The methods I will demonstrate can be used by any new owner or operator or by installers during commissioning. And although I will be using a Solus 4G or fourth generation product today in our demonstration, our 2G installers will be familiar with most of what I will show here today. Now, warning, uh, improper settings of your date and time may affect the accuracy of your performance charting or the alarm code messaging on your communications monitoring platform. Okay, okay, so you can see that this inverter has been commissioned already. It's been turned on. Uh, you can see some LEDs up there, and uh, but the dark location uh, that we have this inverter in, it's kind of hard to see the screen. Uh, but this inverter has a backlight, and it can be activated by touching any of the buttons on the inverter here. But I like to touch this escape button on the far left because it doesn't perform any actions on the home screen that you see here. Okay, so with the backlight on, your normal display will flip between two different home screens. The generating or status screen that you see here, and then it'll flip over every 10 seconds over to another screen that shows the amount of power that's being generated by the inverter, in this case 593 watts. The screen goes out after every 30 seconds, so you can touch that escape key again to see your home screen. And then you can use these up and down keys here to go between one or the other if it happens to be on generating. And you want to know how much power the thing is generating, you can just flip back using the up or down keys to go between the two home screens. Alright, so I put some light on the subject and you can see what you would normally see when the inverter is operating normally. You see the red power LED, that indicates you have DC power coming from the array. The green operation light indicates you have AC power going out, and the alarm LED would indicate you have a problem with the system. There's the two-line LCD and the four buttons you're going to use to get into the internal menus of the inverter. The Enter key here to get into the submenus. So you press Enter, and you see the first two choices, Information and Settings. You can use the down key to move that arrow to advanced information and advanced settings, but today we're going to talk mainly about these first two, information and settings. Let's go down to settings, press enter to get into that menu, and you can see we have two choices. We can set the time and date, or we can set the address of the inverter, and that address doesn't really have anything to do with the site address. It's more like if you have three inverters on site, you might set the address of this one as 01, your next one is 02, and your next one is 03. But here we want to set the time and date, so let's enter that menu. And it's not actually the 15th of August, it's actually the 13th, so we can go down and uh, go to the 13th of August. That looks okay, so let's go to the next move over. Well, that's fine, it's August. It's 2017, that's good. Oh, it's actually closer to 3 o'clock, not 4 o'clock, so let's go down to get that to three and then we want to move over and we're going to change this to there we go and that is all set so is that all set correctly okay is so there we go and then we can escape out to the main menu and see that now our time and date is set properly is how to use the information menu. Again, we can use enter to get into these submenus, and the first choice is information. Let's use enter to get into that menu, and you can see the first thing you see is your voltage and amps on your first MPPT, and then it'll flip over to the second one, and then the third one, and then it goes into AC, and you can see this auto scrolling indicator right here. And that indicates that the menu is just going to auto scroll through all the data. Now, if you need to get to something in particular, you can use these up and down keys to move to the voltage of the grid or to see the status of the inverter, the frequency, total amount of energy you've generated this month or last month, and you might want to get to what you're generating today. And so that's something interesting for you to do. But if you're maybe monitoring grid frequency or something, you can stop the auto-scrolling by pressing enter and you can see a lock 
uh, indicator comes on there and then you can just watch as the uh, as the grid values change uh, if that's what you want to monitor for a little while if you want to then get back to auto scrolling you can press the enter key again or always escape to get back to your home screen